Hello everyone. I hope that uh, you have a great day today. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you okay, uh, how easy it is okay, to use okay, uh, the NetBean okay, to create an application like this. For example, okay, uh, over here okay, I have a form. Okay, it will ask the user to enter the value of uh, the side of a square and then when the button is clicked, okay, then it's going to calculate uh, the uh, area okay, for that square. So let me quickly uh, run the uh, application uh, and then show it to you. Okay, uh, let me input the value five. Click compute. Okay, twenty-five. That's correct. And it is three point three. So it's about ten point uh, eight nine. Okay. So again, uh, let me quickly show you how to do that. Okay. Yeah. So let me close everything here first. Okay, again, uh, NetBeans, uh, NetBean is free okay, from the internet, okay, so you can download it and install it. Okay, so once you have installed it, you can click File, New Project, and then you can use the default okay, for the uh, uh, for step one, okay, Java Java application. Click Next, and then uh, here's something you might want to pay a little bit attention to. Okay, by default, you might have a check mark next to the uh, Create main class so you might want to remove it okay remove it okay and then okay uh, over here the project name okay any name you like is fine so let me try java okay okay square square and then demo maybe that yeah, demo will be fine okay uh, let me see uh, zero one okay yeah this seemed to me a moment ago I have a project with that name already so that's why the finish button is not available all right okay so let me click finish and then select the okay, uh, project name again right click the mouse button pick new and then pick uh, JFriend form and then again you can use a default uh, name okay, uh, such as new frame okay, for the class name or you can uh, pick the one you like. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm going to use the default one, so I'm going to click finish. There you go. So you can see you have a form over here. But if you run it right now, okay, if you run it right now, okay, you really don't see uh, any GUI okay, uh, on the form at all because I, we hadn't put anything yet, or I hadn't put anything yet. Okay. So let me quickly okay, uh, use one of the GUIs over here. Okay. So I'm going to drag the label okay, from the string control okay, uh, to a box okay, and put it over there. And then uh, once it's selected, I'm going to right click the mouse button, okay, pick edit text, okay, and I'm going to enter, please. Enter the length okay, of a square, semicolon, a space. And then I'm going to need a text field. Okay, text field. Okay, so put a text field here. And this time I'm going to use the okay, properties window. Okay, okay. Okay, so you can see the properties window pop up. And then for the columns, okay, the number of columns, okay, or the number of digits, okay, or if you want to think it that way, okay, to allow user to enter it. Okay, so I'm going to set it to five. And then for the text, okay, text message, I want to delete it. Okay, so there you go. And then I can click close. Okay, and then I might need another label. Okay, uh, over here. Okay, to display uh, the area. Okay, of a square. So uh, let me drag and drop another okay, label here. And then this time again, let me use properties window. Okay, and then for the text message, okay, I might want to put something default over the area. And then okay, at the font size, okay, I can click the uh, the font okay, uh, a field over here and change to maybe 24. Okay. And you can set it to bold okay, if you want to. Okay. Yeah, really doesn't matter. Oh, it's really big. Okay. So let me uh, make it smaller a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Click OK. And even you can change the font color. The font color will be the foreground. Okay. So the foreground attribute get okay, all property so let me pick this one click OK click OK 
close okay and then I'm going to need a button here I'm going to call it compute okay so right click the mouse button edit text okay compute okay all right so here is a very simple okay uh, GUI design and then let me run it okay so you can click this triangle button here to run it and then you can see uh, if I input some value here and click the compute button nothing is going to happen well which is great because I hadn't uh, written any code to take the input and then uh, compute the area and display over the label over here okay so let me close this one okay in the meantime okay you might notice that okay, each time when you drag and drop get okay, one of the GUI over here then over your low, lower left hand corner okay the navigation area okay it shows uh, the name okay the name of that uh, that GUI okay so this is a uh, say a uh, label one okay and then a moment ago I put another one there so the system just named the uh, item as J label two okay from the uh, J label class okay so this is J button one all right so now okay instead of uh, hand coding okay all those okay, event uh, handler okay I'm going to use the quick method okay so select that icon and then double click it okay let me try it again there you go so uh, it bring me to the source code view okay so you can switch design between the design view and the source code view easily okay so let me go back to the design view okay and then double click the button okay there you go so it put me in the j button one action performed Okay, uh, function or method okay whatever you want to call it so I will need okay, a, bear, a double okay uh, bearable here okay so bearable let me call it length okay and then okay uh, you're going to uh, yeah length will be fine and then length okay it's going to get the value from uh, okay so you can see it will be the J okay, text field one so you're going to get the value from J text field one dot and then you have to call the get text method okay to retrieve the value okay however okay uh the value retrieve will be in the string format okay so i have to call the double the wrapper class okay double dot parse okay double okay to parse the uh input okay the string value okay to double data type okay so again okay let's do that and then okay uh, you might want to do a little bit okay, uh, formatting okay so the result will look nicer so let me declare a variable called readout okay and then readout uh, equal to string dot format okay okay and then i will take the uh, format specifier okay i will take the floating point value with two decimal places okay and then the value will come from uh, the expression length times length okay because it's a square and then now okay i'm going to set sorry typo here i'm going to set the result okay to the j uh, label two here okay so j uh, label two dot Okay, set text okay, will uh, be area will be something that is area is uh, semicolon space and then concatenate with the uh, result okay so there you go okay so again feel free to uh let me see oh i got a typo here my bad okay so again feel free to pause the video and then uh, look at the source code if you want to okay so let me run it okay let me run the application there you go okay so now if i input okay uh file here and click compute button then this method will be called okay so you will uh, the code over here you will retrieve the value okay file here but it's in string data type but the double dot parse is going to convert it to double value okay so it will be stored uh, into the length and then i want to do a little bit uh, better formatting so that's why i use this okay, uh, string dot format okay so in case if i input 
5.5 okay then uh, the result will be better so i want to display the value get okay, with two decimal places okay after the decimal point and then uh, i want to set the final uh, value for the area okay uh, to z label 2 okay which is this one okay okay so let me click the compute button boom boom print it okay and then let me try four so it should be 16 okay let me try maybe uh, 3.3 okay so 10.89 which is correct all right i think they will be all okay and then i hope that uh, you enjoy it okay it's a simple one but i believe that uh, with a uh, simple one you have in mind okay if you want to create a complicated one hey sky is the name of it okay all right have fun okay and then uh, have a good day